Tina struggled through the hot day. These were the days that made water taste sweeter and watering holes more inviting. The rippling surface of one such oasis made Hina reorganize her day so she may afford a quick dip. But Hina was unaware she was being watched by a powerful eel living in the pond. These events set the stage for the battle of Maui versus the eel. And this is Legends from the Pacific. Aloha, and thank you for joining us. This is Legends from the Pacific, episode 53, Maui versus the Eel. I am Kamuela Kaneshiro, a native Hawaiian, professional writer, speaker, and Comic-Con panelist with extensive film and television experience. I study mythology, I've encountered unusual things, and I'm a geek. You can support us by getting two or three of your friends to listen to our show. This simple request goes a long way in helping us grow our show. Later in this episode, your featured song, Hawaiian Word, and Would You Eat Eel Brains? Well, you probably have and enjoyed it. But first, our matchup. Okay, like most of our stories, there's a lot to unpack here. And our astute listeners would notice I tell our stories in a certain order to build or lead into future stories. So, if this is your first episode... Hey, great seeing you've joined our little part of the world. I'm Kamu, and Nafanua's told me so much about you. Please make yourself at home. Lono's the designated driver, so make sure he's got your keys. Food's over here. Drinks are over there. Oh, um, I'd avoid the gin. We're saving that for Pele. She's kind of had a day. Pork slider? In all seriousness, I'd recommend you go back and listen to our last two episodes about Maui and the Mo'o, so you may have a deeper understanding of these characters. For the rest of us, there's still some unpacking that needs to be done. As mentioned in previous episodes, some letters of names and words are commonly changed throughout Pacific cultures. An example of this can be seen with Hina's name. Some cultures refer to her as Sina, where a S replaces the H. As you can imagine, this makes researching and drawing connections a little challenging. Interestingly enough, Maui's name remained the same throughout the Pacific cultures. As mentioned in the Maui episode, the relation of Hina and Maui may change, so in this episode's story, Hina is Maui's wife instead of his mother. Also, the eel's name is Tuna, which may confuse the uninitiated since Tuna is associated with fish. The following is a Legends from the Pacific original story and is based on cultural records. The refreshing lake was too much for Hina to resist. She wiped her sweaty brow and jumped in. The cool waters refreshed her senses and was as wonderful as she hoped. As Hina splashed around, the giant eel, Tuna, swam to her. Tuna brushed against her leg and continued up her thigh. Hina was startled. She forgot 
something might live in the lake. And she raced from the water. Tuna surfaced, and the great eel told Hina he wanted her. Repulsed by Tuna's advances, Hina said she belonged to Maui and asked Tuna to leave her alone. Tuna didn't care and said nothing could keep him from her. Tuna lunged for Hina, but she fled to her beloved Maui and told him what happened. Maui was furious and went to the lake, ready to kill the simple eel. However, Tuna was powerful and towered over Maui. They fought, but Maui defeated Tuna. Maui hacked up Tuna's body. The eel's parts fell into the ocean, rivers, and stream. When Tuna's head remained, Maui buried it and returned to his beloved Hina. You can support us by becoming a Legends from the Pacific Patreon supporter. Our Patreon supporters allow us to improve our show while enjoying a number of benefits, including new Patreon-exclusive monthly episodes. So become a Legends from the Pacific Patreon supporter today. Coming up, your featured song and Hawaiian word. Today, it is said... Tuna's body parts that fell into the ocean and streams became the Pacific's various eels. Also, the first coconut tree sprouted from Tuna's buried head. Disney's film Moana referenced this in the song You're Welcome, when Maui stated, I killed an eel, buried its guts, sprouted a tree, now you got coconuts. That's sort of true, though it was an eel's head. But I understand how difficult writing a rhyming song can be. In other versions of our story, it is said Hina and Tuna were lovers, but she grew tired of him and went to Maui, who defeated Tuna for Hina's hand. Another version stated Hina and Tuna were lovers, but Tuna was dying and told Hina to bury him. A coconut tree sprouted from his remains. And if you look at a husked coconut, the three dots represent Tuna's eyes and open mouth. So when Hina drank from the coconut, it symbolizes Hina kissing her beloved Tuna. Answering our earlier question about eel brains, some cultures, like those in the Cook Islands, call the coconut's white meat Tuna's brains. So yeah, Tuna's eel brains. Good stuff. Hmm. I think I'm getting hungry now. If you like what you heard, please give us a rating, write a review, subscribe, follow us on Apple Podcasts, and share Legends from the Pacific with your friends and family. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to send me your Pacific stories and encounters via our feedback link so I may share them on future episodes. Join our email list to keep up with our latest news, including our upcoming book, and claim your free, unaired episode, Hawaii's Faceless Ghost, Mujina, today. Our theme song is Mystery by Tavana, courtesy of High Sessions. Sound effects were by Sound Effects Factory. Our music coordinator is Matt Duffy, a.k.a. DJ Triple Bypass. Links and show notes can be found on our website, legendsfromthepacific.com including a link to your featured song, which is Island Feeling by Ho'okena, courtesy of High Sessions. Legends from the Pacific was written, produced, and edited by me, Kamuela Kaneshiro. I also wrote our original stories. Your featured Hawaiian word is puhi. Puhi means eel. An example of puhi is puhi are snake-like creatures who live in the reef and eat fish. Once again, Puhi is Hawaiian for eel. Thank you once again for listening. Mahalo and a hui ho.
we're on.